Hello everyone, how's it going today? Um, I want to start first by apologizing to you. I made a mistake yesterday. Ms. Jacobson made a big mistake. When I uploaded your magnetism and electricity quiz to Schoology, I forgot to turn it on. I forgot to allow submissions, so I forgot to basically click the switch that let you take the quiz. So what I would like you to do is today I need you to go back and do that. So that's in Tuesday's folder. I'm not going to move it because I don't want it in two spots. So I'm going to leave it in Tuesday's folder, but I need you to go back and take that for me, okay? So if you haven't done that, I'm going to ask you to go back and take that because that's our starter for today. It's going to take you some time, but everybody needs to take it. So that is your first job for today, which is Wednesday. Okay, so this quiz, I'm going to talk about it a little bit because we may need instructions again, and instructions never hurt. So this quiz is six questions long. Okay, it's worth 20 points though, two zero. It's worth 20 points. So even though it's worth 20 points, it's only six questions, but that means those questions, those six questions are important. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to find something to show you. So it's six questions long, but it, they're important questions. But that also means that each question has multiple parts, okay? And each of those multiple parts has something that is worth points, obviously, okay? So in each of those parts that you have to look at, um, there's a little portion to be graded. I'm drawing something for you right now, so just bear with me. Um, so the questions are multiple pieces, okay? So it's going to say, draw this, draw that. Hey, guess what? This is a brand new unit. I haven't taught you anything about magnets and electricity yet. So you're going to do your best, okay? You're going to do your best. So I can't tell you. Um, if you're doing your best, it's not a big deal if you get it wrong because you're just trying, okay? And that's all I ever ask you to do or expect from you. So on this test, there's one question that is multiple parts, okay? And it has seven things that you get to label. It's going to look like this. There are boxes with words in them, and you're going to label each of them as a conductor or an insulator. Okay? We haven't talked about conductors or insulators yet, so you're just going to do the best you can. So if you think a pair of scissors is a conductor, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the word. It's not going to be the letter C. It's going to be the word conductor. You're going to click on it and you're going to drag it over to the letter C. And there's going to be an open space next to it, kind of like how these are next to each other now. And that's where you're going to be able to put it. Okay. And if you think a rock is an insulator, you're going to click on the word insulator and drag it into the open space next to the word rock and you're going to let it go. Okay, if you don't know, that's okay, still give it a try. So you're going to want to pair something, you're going to want to put either conductor or insulator next to each, excuse me, next to each option. Okay, next to each word option or possible possible thing there. 
that you're being asked to label, I guess, as a conductor or an insulator. Next thing um, I'm going to talk to you about, since the quiz is mostly on electricity, I don't want to start talking to you about electricity. We're going to start talking about magnets, okay? I'm just going to give you a brief little lesson, like, real quick right now, and I'm going to open up a discussion today um, in today's folder about magnets. So here at my house, I happen to have a regular standard magnet, okay? There was some foam on the back of this one. I tried to peel it off, but it's just your standard magnet, okay? And then I have this cute little cactus magnet also because I'm not going to lie to you, it was on my fridge. So I have these two magnets. Okay, I'm stick. What do you think is going to happen to these? Hmm? If I'm holding this one and I hover this one over top of it, what do you think is going to happen? Okay, it picked it up, we dropped them both. It picked it up and they're sticking together. Why do you think that is? Okay, I want to show you one other thing. If I take this, I did that this first time with the smooth side of the magnet on top and the foam side on the bottom. Now I'm going to have the foam side up and see if it reacts the same way. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not reacting the same way. It's kind of pushing it away. Pushing it down my fingers towards you. Okay? Doesn't want to pick it up. Okay? It when it does pick it up, it kind of turns it. Okay? Magnets have two sides. They have something called a north pole and a south pole. Okay? I'm going to give you more information about that later. They have a north pole and a south pole. In the discussion, I want you to share if you have any other facts about magnets inside your brain. Okay? I'm going to tell you nothing else. I don't want to share anything else because we still have a quiz to take and none of you, I don't think any of you have taken this quiz yet. If you have, it's not showing up on my computer, so I want everyone to try this again. So go back into Tuesday's folder and take this quiz, okay? And we will talk more about this tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. See you tomorrow.